Hi everyone, it's Gail. I'm here today with a batch of journals that I am calling Stash Buster Journals. So no new paper pads were used in the making of these journals. It's all scraps, it's all things from my stash, vintage things. Um, the, the book covers are primarily um, vintage as well. So there's seven books here. So I'm gonna try and get through them quickly. And um, if, it, if it takes me a little longer to get through them than one video, then that's what we will do. But we're going to start with this this little one. And what I'm going to do is just flip through quickly and, and show you there's different papers and such in each one. And this one is an old Shirley Temple book. Um, and the it was in rough shape. There was just the front cover. So I made a back cover. And um, we'll just we'll just flip through. There's a variety of papers because, as I said, this was a stash buster. I just um, went ahead and did all of that. I did look at the um, copyright on this little book, and it was, um, I believe, it was uh, 1923. I looked up the I looked up the Roman numeral, Kristen. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, we'll just get get through here. This does not have all the pages included. The, all the pages weren't there, and some of them were colored on, so I didn't include those. I just included some that had um, some that were in good shape or um, had, you know, a cute picture or whatever. So, so like this one, super cute little picture of her. And then journaling cards and library cards, envelopes as you saw earlier. This one has a lot of Tim Holtz papers in it. Um, little sacks. There's just a variety of things. No embellishments, just really the pages ready for you to do with what you would like. Um, yeah, so, and this flips out, if I can get a hold of it. So, I think it's really fun, all the different, all the different papers. This is from an old vintage writing tablet. Um, this is fun. This is from, I'll show you, from this, um little vintage pack of memorandum sheets. <laughs> so this is part of a Yahtzee. Little flash card. There's just a variety of things. I have so many scraps as I know, I know we just, we get that as we're making journals. We have so many scraps and I just thought I want to do something with these old book covers and I'm just going to, this is from the new garden book that I that I got. Um, I'm just going to use up some scraps and make some fun little books for people to personalize as they will. So that's Shirley Temple. This one is Prayers for Little Ones. It's got a little charm here with some bling, a key, and an angel. And this one has um, this one has all of the pages from the book included. And um, We'll flip through here, but I think it's got its copyright date too. A little bag, just some different papers. Copyright 1923 also. Yeah, that's what I thought they were the same. So, um, this one has some great little illustrations and, and it has prayers for, for children in it. And then all these little bits and pieces to journal on, or I suppose if this is a gift for a child to draw on. And um, yeah, so, oh, this is an envelope. So it was fun to, it was fun to kind of make a dent in my stash. However, <laughs> 
<laughs> the the scrap pile is still huge oh my gosh so many scraps so um i have more vintage books too so this may not be the last of these stash buster listings i am going to list these seven journals on my etsy um as soon as i get this video uploaded so um with any luck we'll be able to do this in one video um and i can just pop it onto youtube and we'll go from there but um yeah so as you can see just all sorts of off cuts of paper i have one of my um one of my sacks of scraps is is rectangles you know they're already in rectangles so i just i used a bunch of those and and there we go so that's prayers for little ones then we have um these children's books benji ng and it's got the entirety of the story included here in the journal so sweet pictures we'll see if we can see the coffee copyright on this one um, once again it's a Roman numeral so I don't know I don't know but it's look it looks like 50s or 60s to me and this one I used kind of neutral papers it was funny how as I went through my stash and as I was putting these little books together how it would just sort of take on its own life this one decided it was going to have some neutral papers in it and the next one we're going to look at was more orangey yellowy red so it that, I, I just thought that was funny that here's an old um bridge tally an envelope um but yeah so this one this one decided to be fairly neutral this is fun little dolly dingles postcard a little extra sheet that didn't get caught in the binding but we'll just leave it in there uh, vintage bingo probably saw those in the other ones as I was flipping through too because um, these the ones that I'm going to show you first I made kind of in one batch and then the a uh, couple others I did separately so I'll show you those in a second Hope I'm not going too, too fast, but um, I just want you to see what papers and, you know, the different variety of things in each one. Oops. Little vintage receipt back there. Okay, so that is Benji NG. Okay, so the next one, this is the one that decided it would like to be the yellows and oranges and such, maybe because of the tractors. I don't know. The whole story is in this one as well. So, this is Big Helpers. Again, it's got the um, copyright in Roman numerals. Should have probably looked them up before I did the video, but just kind of wanted to share these and pop them onto the shop while I had a few minutes this morning. So yeah, a bunch of bunch of different papers and um, a lot of the pattern papers are blank on the back, so can be written on there. But um, but you know, and then there's some of them that are printed on both sides that could be used for photos or you could attach. Here's another Dolly Dingle. You could attach something if you wanted. How are we doing time-wise? Oh, pretty good. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I might have to do an extra video for the last couple. But a little sack there. This one's printed on both sides. But you could adhere some note paper or something there. Oh, this little vintage receipt didn't catch. So I'll include that anyway. out yeah 
but there comes a point where you're just buried in paper and you just need to do something with it. And it was fun to go back. Some of these papers I forgot I had and um, this was a vintage notepad and it was starting to crack so I just reinforced it with a little washi there at the fold. Okay, so there is Big Helpers. All right, moving on. So this one is one that I gave you a little preview of the other day, Little Red Bicycle. And this one has the story in it in its entirety as well. There's some coffee dyed in this one. This one I did in a different, at an earlier time. Um, this is a little pocket here. This one, the book has a few pencil markings in it from whoever had this little book. Love this, Tim Holtz. But it's got very, very sweet little images in it. So, this is a card. A sack. This is a little pocket here. Isn't that cute? So cute. Envelope. Yeah, I love the images in this one. So, so cute. This is a pocket up top here. Chili sack. <laughs> I have a bunch of those I just need to use up. And this one and Shirley Temple have been reinforced on the corners because they were kind of falling apart. How are we doing time-wise? Okay. You know what? I'm going to stop here and I'll flip through the last two in the next part. So thanks for watching. Um, the link to my Etsy cinnamon tea will be down below and I will list these as soon as I get the video uploaded. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.